I'm headed to my flight for UNC Chapel Hill. So this is a video a lot of people have asked me to film um, and I was definitely planning on it because this is something that I think I kind of looked for too before I started my interviews. Whether you're applying for grad school or you're just curious, I'm excited to share my experience with you guys. So my first interview actually ended up being at Hopkins, Johns Hopkins. Honestly, I think maybe getting a tougher one out for it, like out of the way first was kind of a benefit because um, you know after that I didn't really have anything else to be super nervous about because it was like the most nerve-wracking one already happened so I ended up not getting an offer from that program I was sad about but also you know it was okay because there was a lot of reasons I also didn't see myself there um, especially because I just didn't really like Baltimore So my second interview was actually Pitt, which is my alma mater, where I'm at now. Um, so that was a weird experience because, you know, I'm living there, like I walked down the street to my interview. I would say it went really well, like I really enjoyed myself, I had fun, um, but I was definitely comfortable. Like I went into all the interviews and everyone knew my PI, they almost already had like an expectation for me. And even the grad students, like I knew a lot of them and because a lot of them knew of me at least, like it was just very comfortable, which I don't think is a bad thing. I don't know, it kind of made me realize that like, oh, I might not really be pushed if I go to school here um, because of that. So I think it was a fun experience, but not necessarily what I wanted. Um, they really checked off all my boxes. Like their program is amazing. Um, really just realized that like they're really like a national leader in research. Um, and often underestimated, I think. And I did end up getting an offer from Pitt I heard about two weeks after. The third that I had UNC Chapel Hill. Um, I had been very excited for UNC and Duke because I really like this North Carolina area. You know, the Durham, Raleigh, Chapel Hill area, Research Triangle, all of that. I had been very excited to check this out. So I was very excited going to this interview. Um, it's the third interview. I didn't really film Pitt last week because it was kind of like a weird one because I lived there already. Um, so there wasn't too much to film. But I'm super excited for this one. I was nervous again to fly today, but way less than last time, which was nice. Feeling a lot more comfortable in airports and flying alone, so hopefully it won't be too bad. My Nana and Pap drove me here today, which was super nice of them. Um, love them, and it was just nice since like I'm so busy, I'm not spending a lot of time with my family. So it was nice just to have like, you know, a drive with them to chat and catch up. But I do feel like I'm getting sick, which I'm nervous about. My Nana sent me masks, so I honestly might wear one because there's just like so much going around right now and then also the coronavirus freaking my grandparents out. So I was like, yeah, I'll probably wear one. I ended up having a really bad cold when I was there, so like I felt like crap, but regardless of that, it was still like one of the best interview experiences. So I had a roommate at this one and we hit it off instantly. Um, she was amazing. I was like, wow, they couldn't have given me a better roommate. Um, I hit it off with so many other students being interviewed. My host was super great. You know, I was sick, so she drove me to Walgreens to get some medicine, um, continued to check in on me. My interviews went awesome. Like. I, I just felt like I was on the same wavelength as the professors. I felt like finally we were speaking the same language, like we had the same interests. I even had one professor tell me that she, I reminded her of like her when she was at my stage in like her career, which was just like really sweet and cool, I thought. Um, the faculty dinner was just so relaxed and chill and 
just talking to all the professors about how on the weekends they go boating and swimming and it was like just such a like a healthy balance I think like they felt like real people and I felt like I just fit in like I felt like I was a Tar Heel like there's no other better way to put it like it just felt like I belonged there which was an awesome feeling I got home and the next day one of the professors actually called me and told me that I was admitted which was super exciting because they told us to not expect to hear for a month um, and after talking to some you know, postdocs and grad students that I work with they all kind of said like you know if you're a really good fit sometimes they reach out and so I don't know it was just such like an honor and like felt really cool to have somewhere you know kind of want me as much as I wanted to go there so then next I had um, Yale I couldn't remember if I had Yale or Duke yet, so I went to Yale, um, and this was another awesome experience. was so surprised because I did not expect to like New Haven. I did not expect to like Yale and I loved it so much. I was very comfortable in New Haven. I felt like it was very familiar to like the type of lifestyle I had in Pittsburgh. Um, and I actually really loved like the Yale culture. You know, I was very nervous going into that, but I really liked it. Um, it you definitely could feel the Ivy feel like that was definitely there, um, but not in a bad way. I feel like um, there was a high standard, but um, the professors and the students were still really down to earth. Um, and I really hit it off with the students, which was one of my like best things I liked about this interview was the students. I really hit it off with the students. They all had like all these hobbies outside of lab, um, and it was just awesome talking to them, hanging out with them. I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I did not get an offer to Yale. Um, which honestly I was kind of surprised about because I did feel like I fit so well at the school. But then it made my decision easier because if I would have gotten in Yale, it would have definitely been one of my top picks. Boxes wise, Yale's checked off all of my boxes as well. Um, so you would see where Yale were really the ones that kind of checked off everything. And so after that, I had one more. I went to Duke. interview so I was exhausted and I think that played a big role is that I was just over interviews at this point which I know a lot of other people were you know I expected it to be a lot more similar to UNC than it was I think um, so I kind of like had this expectation that I was gonna love it just as much but that wasn't really what happened it was still an option for me to go there I did not end up getting an offer you know I didn't mesh with the professor super well I didn't mesh with the students super well um, like there was a few that I really hit it off with but overall, it just wasn't really a community that I saw myself in. Definitely it's an amazing university um, and had a lot of things I liked, but I feel like the other schools could have offered me more, maybe, so like, I feel like Duke would have offered a very high quality of research, but the other schools could cut it off their breadth of like other opportunities. Um, which is important for me because I don't know what I necessarily want to do with my PhD yet. And Duke's a little confusing because they have a lot of different programs and they actually have multiple umbrella programs. Um, and so I also was, I kind of went back and forth if I applied to the right program. I kind of feel like I could have applied to a different one um, and fit better. Those are all the schools I interviewed for. I also have one scheduled for Case Western and Penn State. So Penn State, I said no to very early on. 
because once I got into Pitt, I knew I would pick Pitt over Penn State. And I also had an interview with Case Western, which was scheduled to be my last interview, actually the middle of March. So now with this coronavirus stuff, I probably would have never even been able to go before I can't, like if I would have kept it on anyway. So the reason I ended up canceling that, first of all, after Duke, I was beat. Like my body could not do any more this like nonstop travel. But it was also because at that point I had been accepted to Pitt, UNC, and Hopkins. And I knew at the end of the day, I would pick one of those three over Case Western. Um, it was similar to Penn State where I knew I would pick Pitt over Case Western and I knew I would pick Pitt over Penn State. And so, especially then once I got an offer, I was like, okay, there's no reason I'm going, you know, I'm gonna be wasting their time as much as I'm wasting my own. So that was my interview experience. I definitely wanna make some videos, kind of just like tips I learned from going through all these interviews. Um, and just like some things I wish I knew before the interviews. But I just kind of wanted to give a little excerpt of each one and what it was like. Overall, they were all good experiences. I'm so glad I went to every single one of them. I have talked to people who hated their interviews at UNC but loved them at Duke. You know, complete opposite of my experience. Um, and I think it's really, you know, finding what school meshes with you, where you fit, um, personality-wise, science-wise, goal-wise. You know, these admissions people are good at what they do. Um, and there's a reason that I heard from UNC the next day and Duke told me no. You know, it was kind of like this two-way street that um, I could kind of tell and I think they could too where I fit and where I didn't. Overall, I got into three of the six interviews I did um, and two interviews I canceled. So that was a lot of interviews. I think if I were to do it again, um, I think I would still apply to all of these schools because I, I really didn't know what I wanted going into it. You know, if I would have only applied to a couple schools, I might have not applied to UNC and Yale. If those were my two favorite after the interviews. So keep a lookout for more videos about my experience with these interviews, um, some tips and advice that I've gotten from going through this experience, um, and just me starting my grad school journey. Uh, I'm probably gonna be moving into an apartment soon and starting my life somewhere new, which will be announced in a later video. Um, so thank you guys for watching if you've made it this far, and I'll be coming up a new video soon.